Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do another kind of well-known fault on the Discovery 2 TD5 and that is warped exhaust manifolds. <clears throat> now the exhaust manifold is prone to warping which then pulls the studs out or snaps the studs in the head. Now have a look at mine now, I've got a stud missing. Yesterday I managed to get a stud, just wind it in there so I know the thread is good. But I'm not going to risk it. I've um, got a spare manifold here. So this manifold has just been skimmed. It's also been dewebbed here. All stuff decided to come out, so we put that back in. Okay, so that's the turbo out of the way.
this over. So getting stuff on it. We only have one more to go, which is someone on the end here. It's one of the ones known for going. I don't know if we can get a socket in there or not. Right, so I've had to move this um, water pipe um, and I need to raise the aircon pump out of the way, just enough to get a socket in here. So I've had to slacken off the um, adjuster, the serpentine belt. Then you can undo the four bolts, move the aircon pump out of the way. And obviously spill water everywhere. And then you can get to this last bolt which is under here. Just tight. That's all in as well. Bonus. Oh, I think that's it for tonight. <laughs> Seems to have two gaskets. So you can see this looks like it's been blown a bit. Bolts weren't particularly tight. And this end as well. This is one with the, the missing stud and you can see by that and that the burn. I'm not sure if it's delaminated or someone's put two on there. Anyway, it's out. So the next stage is to get the studs out. Now there's an easy trick to this, is just use two of the nuts that you
last one. See if it goes. Yes. There you One. I found the best way is a nut with a shoulder and a nut without the shoulder. Get them nice and tight then. These are the new Worth studs and you can see the difference between the Worth stud this is the standard stud. A lot longer, a lot harder. With uh, brass nuts, and I also have um, some stainless steel spacers to go on as well, which should give a little bit of flexibility without uh, snapping the studs. Here you can see I've uh, managed to get all the studs out and given it a bit of a clean up. So now we're going to put the new Worth studs back in, and uh, then we can get the manifold on. Let's go. So I always use copperies on all my studs and bolts. Makes it a lot easier to get back out again. one in.
old manifold. Come with me. So, this is my old manifold. You can see where gas has been escaping. So it's definitely blowing on that end, which is quite common really. And the same on this end. But, look at this. Can't do it one end. <laughs> this. That's how warped it is. That's my new one. Here's my new one. Only tight yet, just so it bolts down in a nice uniform way. So you start in the middle, and then two outside ones, and the two other ones in between. Gasket the turbo to manifold.
Tamu. Right, just nip them up. Don't need to be super tight. I'm hoping this one bites. Put a really long bolt here. You go look. Perfect. Just nip it up. There, beautiful. Let's soak up some of this water that's under the aircon pump. Back in a minute. So I'm just going to slacken off the adjuster so I can get the serpentine belt back on. And spam it already on there, just looking. Right, I need to adjust this pipe because when it's sat there, you can see it's hitting on here. Which is not good, so I need to cut a little bit off there to push it over a bit. Um, right, let's put this back on. Okay, I think that's it for today. Right, we're going to go for a start. <laughs> 